Good morning, everyone. I am starting the day off with a run. I figured I would update you guys on our running situation. So as of right now, Kelsey and I have decided we are doing a half marathon. Um, I really, really, really wanted to be ready for a marathon. However, I also really, really, really wanted to run it with Kelsey. And Kelsey told me the other day, she's like, you know, I just don't think I'm gonna be ready. And I was like, well, I'd rather run it with you, us together, because she's never ran a marathon and she's like the original runner of our family. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna wait. Let's do a half marathon that we can both do. And then next year, we're gonna do a marathon. So as of right now, that's the plan, is to do a half marathon this fall, around the same time. So fall, we still have the um, same amount of time. I think it'll be good. I think it'll help to avoid any injuries that may have happened because it was such short notice and I'm not really a runner. So I think this is a good idea. You can ride all the blue. Trailing behind. I feel like I'm pregnant again. <laughs> So, uh, we're getting ready to go to music class, and Kelsey's like, you just go on ahead. I was like, why? She's like, because I can't walk. How are your legs doing? Oh my goodness. Oh, jeez. I am so sore. I dropped the keys. I dropped them. I'm going back up. I'm going back up. Name that movie. Let's go to music class, June. One of the last late ones. Again. We're not going to be late. Here we go. Oh, my swim scampering back. Four little mice went out to play, gathering crumbs along the way. I wanna do what you want to. We can leave and run away. Getting my jam on. Get it, PBJ? <laughs> I was making my sandwich and I'm like, Kelsey, do you know that it's crank call mm -mm. and not a prank call? Did you guys know that? No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's called crank calling, like no. C-R-A-N-K. No, and it's not. Everyone knows it's prank. Okay, Google it. Let's see. Define crank call. Another name. Four. Prank call. Boom. Yeah, the phone spelled it wrong. I'm right. Somebody probably just spelled it wrong. I'm pretty and then sure it there came. There was like a following that was like, oh, it's crank calling. No. But really, it was always prank calling. Always. That'd be so fun to ride a train. Take the passenger train. I haven't ridden a train in a really long time. Yeah, we should do it. I think there's one that goes to Seattle. Is there? It's supposed to be a really cool, like, beautiful trip. Jim Beck, do you want to ride a train? <laughs> oh, would that be fun? Mm -hmm. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have a lot to say about riding on the train, huh? <laughs> There's a lot to say about everything. Do you? Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, okay. I see. Well, thanks for telling me. Out on a walk by the river. Because walks make this little one happy, huh, Bug? We've decided we need to get outside and go on a walk at least once a day because it makes our lives so much better. <laughs> and makes June a happy baby. So we are down here on the east bank of the Willamette River and we're just gonna walk the river and get June outside. Get some fresh air. Maybe walk off some of the soreness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that she's been complaining about all I? day. I have not complained once. I've <laughs> suffered in silence. I just have to hear the oh. Yeah, that is involuntary. Oh. That just happens. <laughs> Watch out, there's a lot of bikers. Uh -oh. You gotta look where you're going. Call me anytime that you need a friend and call me anytime when you're out of time and you I get you. There's 
so many freaking bikes. I'm afraid I'm gonna get ran over. You guys watch my back. Ah, uh, crossing the sidewalk here is like a death trap. And you clap me too. We can always make it through. What we do is what we do. I can take you anywhere, somewhere. We won't be scared You will see me flying high I'm staring into your blue eyes What's wrong with your eye, Bug? You got some goops in there Looks like she's getting an eye infection again We put some breast milk on it, but I need to use some antibacterial stuff, huh? Yeah. Bug. I don't want her to get congested when she was first born. She like got an eye infection and then it congested her nose and then it was scary because she was like making weird sounds when she was breathing, so. Not too with that. No, oh, thank you. I can't believe like all of the boats, there's like the dragon boats and then rail normal rowboats, speed boats, paddle boards. It's so cool. Yeah. Where are you? Not happy. You're out now. You wanna hang out with us? You wanna hang out? She's happier now. Oh, your poor little eyeball. What's wrong with it? Oh, but you got a smile? <laughs> yeah. I saw a little one. We don't need nobody else. I got you. And you got me too. Uh, yeah, she is asleep. Nice. She's passed out, but um, she needs to take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> also, allergies got super intense when we were on that walk. I don't know what it is. I thought it would be less intense by the river. And like when we were over the river, it was fine. But then, um, yeah, walking off the bridge. Over it. But I can't really take anything because of breastfeeding. Um, I have like this herbal tincture I'm taking from the naturopathic doctor. That's fine, but it's not super strong. That was a really nice walk, my love. Yeah, that was really I nice. really liked that. And it was beautiful because it was like perfect time of day to go. This guy is currently broken down and he's got like a really heavy supply. Oh! They're trying to get it off the main road. We're really, we're like on a main road right now. Corbin's helping. Good job, Corbin. Way to be a good Samaritan. Say good job, Papa. Way to help out people, huh? Good job, my love. Way to help someone out. Been there, done that. <laughs> yeah, I've totally been there, done that. Like too many times to count, huh, my love? So every time I see someone like broken down, if we can like pull over safely, I'm like, I gotta help them because we've been in that position on a hill, like, oh, that Somebody was bad. Somebody has always stopped to help us. Yeah. So. so, had to jump up, jump, jump out and help. We haven't read you a story in a while, huh, bud? Yeah, we need to make it our routine again, huh? So we're gonna read a story and it's a touchy feely and then it's bedtime. Okay. Bedtime after the story. Okay, so we're reading Pat the Bunny by the Dorothy bunny. Cundhart. Here are Paul and Judy. They can do lots of things. You can do lots of things too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Judy can pat the bunny. Now you pat the bunny. Pat the bunny. Pat the bunny. It's like a feely, it's like a felted bunny. Okay, put it on this side so she can feel it with this hand. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, feels like Paris, huh? Paul can smell the flowers. Now you smell the flowers. Oh. They really smell? Yeah, they really smell. It smells really good. It smells like perfume. Oh, they're making my nose itchy like real flowers. <laughs> Judy can read her book. Now you read. Read your book. Judy's book. Oh my gosh, it's a book within a book. Here. Nighttime book inception. Look at this. <laughs> book within a book. That's all. Bye-bye. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. 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 What if she said it? That would be so crazy. <laughs> that would be so funny. I swear, okay, the other day I was saying, I love you, I love you, and she goes, really? oh, oh.
Oh, you're getting so good at imitating. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Don't feel bad. You've got your drop, your cream in your eyes, okay? Say bye so bye. Hopefully, it gets your eyes better, okay? Yeah. Hopefully, that gunk gets out of there. That theirs. just like popped up, huh? I don't know. We put some. We put some eye ointment on it, so hopefully that'll take care of it. But she had a ton of gunk in it. Maybe it's like allergies? I don't, I don't know. know. All right, well, thumbs up if you liked today's video. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And as always, we will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Be your feeder.